For this tutorial then, we're going to be finishing off the right hand side of the fire station. So all we're going to do to start off with then, is we're just going to place a row of grey wool diagonal from the corner. And we're just going to extend it up so it's 10 blocks in height and that it finishes one block above the snow. Then on the right hand side of this, we're just going to count 12 blocks away. And on the 12th block, we're going to place another row of grey wool and extending it to the same height as the first one. So we're just going to place another two more of these rows, making sure it's the same width apart from each of them and they're the same height. And that's the last row placed there. So now behind it on the last row, we can extend it back another 21 blocks. Again, using our grey wool for this. So it's going to be 22 blocks including the first one. Once you've placed your grey wool all the way back, on the right hand side we're just going to place another two grey wool blocks. And then next to that we're just going to dig down one in the grass and replace it with a grey wool block. On the right hand side of this you just want to place a grey wool block as normal and you want to continue to alternate this another six more times. So you should have to replace four grass blocks overall. Once you've placed this pattern, we're just going to carry on extending our grey wool all the way across. So it should finish diagonal with where our snow is placed. Then on the right hand side, we're just going to do exactly the same pattern as we just did. So leaving a free block space on the end and then we're just going to alternate with our grey wool again. Making sure to replace four grass blocks overall. Once you've done this then we're just going to extend up our grey wool and you want to extend it up so it's ten blocks high and it finishes one block above where our snow is. So you just want to go all the way around doing this but leaving the blocks which we dug down by one as we're going to come back and place glass in this space later on.
So that's all of our grey wall extended up to the same height. Next then, we're just going to go around the whole of the building and connect up all of our grey wall. So on the top block, you just want to extend your grey wall all the way across so it connects to either section. And this includes the back as well as the front. Once you've connected up the grey wall, we're just going to now place our glass panes in the spaces on the back wall that we left open. So making sure to fill in all the space with your glass panes. Next then, we're going to be doing the roof of the right hand side of the building. So for this again, we're going to be using our grey wall. And you just want to place it all the way to the edge of our grey wall sides. Making sure to leave the spaces open on the top of the roof for our glass. And this is just going to be in line with the glass on the back wall. And that's the roof place for the right hand side of the building. So now, same as before, we're going to fill in the rest of the spaces with our glass. Apart from the front two spaces this time, we're going to place our grey wall. So again, on the front two spaces, filling it in with your grey wall. But apart from that, just want to place your glass all the way across.
the last thing we're going to be doing for this episode is we're going to be placing the garage doors for the garages. So the first garage we're going to start off with is the left garage. So from the bottom then we're just going to come one block out diagonal. And here we're just going to alternate yellow and black all the way across. Then on top of this you just want to place one row of white wool. And on top of that we're going to be placing our white wool again. But on every third block this time you just want to place a glass block. And on top of this again, you just want to place one more row of white wool. Then we're just going to place a glass block on every third block again, with our white wool in between. So we're going to carry the same pattern all the way up now by alternating between our glass and white wool apart from the top two rows which we're going to leave as white wool So that's the left garage done, and we're going to do exactly the same on the far right one. So the only different one is going to be the centre garage, as we're going to leave it open for a fire truck. So starting with the same pattern again, by alternating between our yellow and black wall. Making sure to come one block out diagonal. Then on top of that you just want to place your white wool with your three glass blocks on every third block. And a row of white wool on top of this again. So that's the first section of our glass. So again, continue the same pattern all the way up. And above this is going to be the last section with glass in. Now just for the two more rows of white wool on top of this. So 
So for the center garage then, we are going to be placing a garage door. But as I mentioned earlier, it is going to be up. So to start off again, we're just going to be alternating between our yellow and black wool. Making sure to come one block out diagonal from the grey wool. Then behind this, we're going to continue the same pattern as our other doors. So first, placing a row of white wool. And then behind this, our white wool with our three glass blocks. So you can see there, it's going to be the same pattern, but instead of being downwards, it's going to be underneath the roof. Now for the last section of glass. And our last two rows of white wool now. And that's our last garage place there. So in the next episode, we'll hopefully be able to finish off the exterior of the fire station. And hopefully make a start on the fire truck.